Hello everyone. Welcome to you on Thinking Future Academy. Today we are going to learn about sparkline graphs with a target line. Let's begin. <clears throat> See, this is my data which I have prepared. First, I will show you that how to create a general trend line and then the target line, uh, trend line. Here, this is my data. And if you'll go to insert tab, just come here on this one line. Just click line and it will ask you for the data range. I'm just going to select my data range from 2013 to 2016. Okay. Now you can see here my data trend is there. I, I will make a little bit bigger for you, which it will help you to understand. With this one, I can put my markers and points. You can see here the trends as well. Now, here I have taken the average of this one as a target line. You can review your data, whatever you your target line, you can fix it over here and you can go through with it. I just consider the average of these four years is a target line for everyone. Whoever the data it is, see, I use the formula average. Now I'm going to select this data and there is option in it here. If you can see it, spark line. And here you can see X axis and here you will see here show X axis. It will not show you anything here, but when you will come here, edit data, you can just select edit sparkling line data. Now, instead of this one, I have created this data with me. I will show you what is this data. Okay, now you can see this trend line is there now. This data, what I did it from the average, average value, 2013 data minus average value and it is giving me the target base for each year. These are the negative ones and these are the positive one. If you can see the trend line, it is showing that here the value is on a lower side and it is here, it is a positive. After this one, you can just drag down your formula and it will give you the exact what you are looking for. You can see it here. I will make here the data height equal. I will check it. What is the data height? 83. And I will do this one similar to all of it. Height 70. And you can see the trends as well, that wherever it is positive, wherever it is negative, you can see it here, the target lines, positive and negative. Now, from this data, if I want to make some changes in this data, I want to uh, see this data as a column, I can just select here the column, spark line, and column. Here in this, you can see it, negative values and positive value trend, trends, down trends and upward trends for each of the manager here. Then we can make sure that we want to see the high points and negative points. Okay. Here, for the negative points, if I want to make change in the color, high points, I'm going to make it positive. Okay. And if I want the low points, I can make some different color here. I can choose it any color, first point, last point. It's up to me that what I'm looking for, negative points, I'm looking for uh, to make it uh, purple. You can see all is purple now. Here, it's blue. It's up to you if you want to. And there is an uh, another option here. 
in the spark line this is data which is grouped in some of the cases you don't want to group them you don't want to make a similar color of the data what you can do it ungroup and now this data is ungrouped now if you will change it here for example negative value here there will be no impact on the other data only here on this column this data will be impacted so this way you can manage your data so this is the best way in which you can see the performance of the employee that how it is performing and here win or losses option is also available if you want you can select this option uh, if you want to see based on this one and you can change the trends even though here you can see it here it's very easy see here now so this is the best thing which you can do you can unhide and check the low points first point last point whatever your requirement you can do that one here this one you can change the spark line colors for example here if i i have the lines here okay I, i'm going to make this color lines changing everything it's up to my requirement see here it's changing so you my again advice to you whenever you are having the data and you are preparing something try to experiment the different options i always suggest whoever is working on the excel they should apply different formatting standards tools whatever it comes in front of you on this screen you should have to try by yourself and you will learn a lot Thank you very much.